So let's try to learn this cool song. Really, in this song, we are going to have two chords, and you'll be absolutely fine playing just two shapes across all the song. I added towards the end two extra chords to kind of make this harmony uh, more interesting. But as we go through the song, I'm going to explain everything, okay? So it's a really great song for beginner guitarists. So you never play the guitar, you may start from the song. Not the strumming. Strumming is much more complex than that, but if you want to just to strum in a simple way the chords, it might be a great song to start from, okay? So look, we are going to start by playing first chord, which is E minor. So my first finger is on the second fret fifth string. My second finger is on the second fret fourth string, and this is the chord I'm going to play across all six strings. So just simply a E minor chord. Some people are playing E minor using fingers two and three, so it's really your choice. You can choose whatever feels better for you and more natural. There's no one way to play the guitar. Remember, you can always tweak this to your needs. So this is our first chord, E minor. Now the second chord is kind of, um, I think about this as a variation of E minor. Um, in a way that this chord is going to go like this, both ways, up. One, one finger is going to go up and the next finger is going to go down. So let me show you. Basically this shape is going to kind of to stretch. So I'm going to now place my first finger on the second fret sixth string. And you can use your second finger on the second fret fourth string and play across all six strings. There's our second chord. Or you may use your third finger on the second fret um, fourth string. This is how I prefer to play this chord, okay? But um, again, it's up to you. If you use fingers one and two, it's easier to see that this chord is actually stretching. So look, E minor goes to something like this. Can you see? These two fingers <laughs> just go away from each other, okay? So this is our second chord. And the name of the second chord is D6 at 9 slash F sharp. <laughs> Whew, crazy name. Don't worry about the names because, um, to be honest, I had to write this down. Um, because, you know, the names are not important in this song. I'm pretty sure the author of this song didn't think about the names. It was not like, I'm going to play minor, now D, you know, whatever it was. <laughs> he just focused on the sound. And this is why um, we've got this crazy chord here, okay? So second chord you can play just using fingers one or two, on one or three. And um, remember one more time, the first finger is on the sixth fret, six, uh, second fret sixth string. And my second finger, or the third finger, is up to you, is going to be on the second fret, fourth string. And you play this across all six strings, okay? And now look, think about this that way. Each, each chord is going to have four clicks, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Does it make sense? Three, four. So this is the first initial stage you may try to do. Just go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Now, again, if you are a beginner guitarist, you may play very simple string pattern. Down, down, up. Down, down, up. All the time the same way. And it already sounds like a real song. Can you hear? Just like this, yeah? But if you want to add um, to this chord progression real strumming, I did something like this, look. So let's talk about this strumming pattern now. Look, what I do have here on the first chord E minor, I've got something like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And this is kind of the swing mode. We are not playing like this, we are playing like this. Okay, more kind of bluesy, swingy approach. So look, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. This is what I'm going to play over E minor chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Strumming always causes a lot of trouble. So if you don't know how to do strumming, or you are struggling with the strumming, don't worry, you're fine. <laughs> this is normal. It takes a lot of time. You may try to check my online guitar lessons when, I, when I've got plenty of classes um, on, on strummings and all this stuff will make you really good guitarist in no time. So have a look at my online stuff. Uh, maybe you can subscribe and become one of my students. Plenty of fun and um, really good knowledge. But let's go back to the song. So look, 
on E minor chord, we go down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then I'm going to the second chord, and I'm going to do some kind of the fancy, finky look. What it is really, it's, com it's, it's kind of combination of down strokes, up strokes, but some of the notes are muted, okay? You can approach the second chord in this way, look. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, as a starter. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Does it make sense? So look, the first chord, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. When you don't do this muted note, it kind of sounds like one big blurry thing. But let me play this for you. Listen. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So really, you could play almost all the time. Down, up, down, up, down. And it sounds awesome. So look, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So the first part, one more time, is down, down, up, down, up, down, up. I changed the chord, and now I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This is kind of simplified strumming, because I'm going to change this now, and I'm going to do something like this. Listen to this. Um, down. I'm adding muted notes. Look, let's talk about these muted notes at first. What I do here, basically, I hit the string... Um, I go, up strokes are open strings, right? Uh, not open strings, just ringing strings. Just my down strokes are muted. So I'm using palm and part of my arm kind of to lay this, this, this hand across the strings. The motion is not coming from the wrist. If you strum from the wrist like this, you may struggle to play this correctly. It needs to be activated from the, from the elbow, okay? So this is important in order to keep this strumming, you know, strong, yeah? So look. On the second chord, this was a half. So one way to, to practice this muted part will be basically to do something like this at first. So basically what you need to do, you need to lay the palm on the strings and then do this strumming, yeah? It's, if you play this slow, it's like something like this. But it's really a combination of both at the same time, look. Can you hear? You know, this is really tricky part, you know, when it comes to playing this song. So um, if you never played muted, if you never played muted notes like this, don't worry. You have to allow plenty of time to, to get this into your head, okay? So don't get angry or don't get disappointed or don't think there is something wrong with you. This is normal way of playing the guitar. It takes time. Everything takes time. So um, just be patient. So look, this was I have. This is my muted notes, yeah? And then you can try to mix this with mute down and then unmuted up, look like this. To be honest, when I play, can, can you hear when I play this muted notes? The sixth string is slightly giving me additional kind of vibration. It adds kind of nice bassy muted note. And you can achieve this by placing your palm kind of here closer to the bridge. Because if you put this palm too far away, it'll be muted, but more this way, look. It's like palm muting technique. If you play rock music, um, this was your use, yeah? This is how it works. I basically place, place this part of my palm closer to the bridge here. So it's muted a little bit, but like this. Okay, and the strumming is down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This is the strumming for now. So down is muted, up is unmuted. One thing which is important here also when you do this muted part, make sure that you don't stop with your hand somewhere here, like here, the pick is not here. The pick needs to go down, down like this. Can you see? It's here below the first string. So when I... When I try to play the upstroke, it's easy to add this upstroke. It's one movement, look. Can you see, if you muted this, if you finish this with the pick here, I have to further add additional motion and then add upstroke. This is going to disturb your flow of the, of the strumming, look. So remember, 
once you mute this you need to be below the first string look and then upstroke okay now look if i connect both parts now listen to how it sounds so as i played on the second chord i started down unmuted up unmuted and the next down was muted so this is what you have look can you hear very slowly One more time, very slowly, look. Unmuted down, unmuted up, and then muted down, unmuted up. So you may try to work in isolation of both strumming. You can take the first chord E minor and just go. And again. So I play down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Yeah. Down, down. Then you can go to the second chord, and now you're going to go down, up, muted, up, muted, up, muted, up. <laughs> Does it make sense? So look, second chord, this stretch E minor, and we go. So one more time, down, unmuted, up, unmuted, down, muted, up, unmuted. <laughs> okay, so when, after a while, when you are good with this, you can try to connect both, look. One thing which is important here also, when I played this E minor chord, my first strumming, look. Did you notice I don't play the first strum across all six strings? I don't go like... I kind of target this in a different way. I try to make this more interesting by targeting less notes here. Look, I play strings six, five, and four maybe on the down. And then full strum. Can you hear? Look. So I hit the chord, and then I second second hit, look. First hit is from the bass notes, but the second one is more on this treble on the higher sounding notes. So it's not like this. It's like this. Okay, so look. Something like this. This is something that you may consider, okay? And now look, the, really this song is a, is, is a combination of a few guitars recorded at the same time. So this is why the harmony is quite, um, quite rich here, okay? But you can add second combination of the chords to this to, to make it sound more interesting. And then you can kind of mix this, okay? So the second, chord of, second combination of the chords we, will be something um, like this, E minor 9 chord which is the first finger on the second fret fifth string like in regular E minor chord but now you're going to use your third finger um, on the second fret first string this is E minor 9 chord yeah and then the next chord will be something like this I think about this like mirror image of the E minor chord E minor was here I'm going to do similar thing but on the strings two and three now so look my first finger is on the second fret third string and my second finger is on the second fret second string and the name of this chord is d major seven sus two slash e <laughs> okay and um if you are not sure how to play this chord visit my website you've got the link underneath and there are the chords listed okay so you can have a look so look the first chord first finger on the second fret fifth string and my second uh, my third finger on the second fret first string and then the second chord, my first finger is on the um, second fret third string, and second finger on the second fret second string. And this, are, this, is, this is second set of the chords, and you are going to strum this exactly the same way. So look. Um, so as you said, you can simplify this just to this no need to play complex strumming, right? Or you can play like this with 
about muted nodes. Okay, plenty of flexibility. Look, you can mix them both now. So, for instance, you can go twice the first part. And again. And second part. Just like this, okay? Um, the second part will be probably more suitable for the chorus. So you will have to listen closely to the song and you will hear that sometimes this kind of the chords, like I played the second um, part of this song, are appearing in this, in, this chord, um, in this chord progression. So use your ears sometimes and try to see um, what is working. The thing is that this chord is kind of E minor, it's kind of e minor chord. And this one is kind of the D chord. And the same is here when I switch these chords, the second group of the chords. The first one is also kind of E minor chord, and the second one is also kind of the D chord. So you can kind of use them together, right? So listen one more time. And I can change now. And again. A second. Okay, so, so it's really your choice. Great, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, spend some time working on the chords at first, and then try to do um, some rhythm and see how it, how it feels, okay? Don't forget to visit my website, guitarcouch.com. I've got plenty of tutorials there, and also I've got membership part of my website where you can become one of my members, and um, we can start the guitar together and have plenty of fun. Have a good day, and see you next week.